Hello everyone, my name is Mikha Desha and I work here as an English teacher. Today we will talk about IELTS, which is International English Language Testing System. And this is not the exam, so you won't fail it. So you can take this exam many times. And actually in Kazakhstan there are four times in one month you can take it. And today I will introduce the IELTS and its structure, how uh, should one take it. Now let's start with test types. Actually, there are two types of IELTS tests. One is general training, second one is academic IELTS. If you want to immigrate to another country, you should better take the general training IELTS. And if you want to go to higher study or to go, pro some, to go working or to take professional work, you should take academic IELTS. So this is the, basically two types of IELTS. Now next, I want to explain you the structure of the IELTS. So IELTS consists of four parts. First of them is listening, then reading, writing and speaking. These are the parts. To begin with, listening will be 30 minutes and it will consist of four sections. And overall there are 40 questions. And then you will take reading exam. Reading exam is 60 minutes and the questions, 40 questions, will be distributed into three sections. Then you will have writing test. Writing test, again, will, uh, will be 60 minutes, one hour, but here are only two tasks, two essays. Then the, the amount of words is, uh, for the first writing task, you should write 250 words. And for the second, for the first one you have to write 150 words and then for the second 250 words. Then the last exam is speaking test, which will be one-to-one -one conversation with an examiner. It will take for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, let's start with the speaking section. Speaking section will take 10 to 15 minutes, so it will depend on your situation and circumstances. Then the second one is the procedure of the speaking test. Procedure is the one-to-one -one conversation with an IELTS examiner and the entire conversation will be recorded in order to evaluate your speaking test. Then, uh, IELTS speaking test consists of three parts. First one is simple questions uh, about you, about your family, about your school, neighborhood, job. And the second part, you will uh, be given a card and you will have to talk one to two minutes on the particular topic on the card. And the third part will be connected to the topic of the second part. So the third part will be more um, about global and more serious topic and serious questions. Then, uh, how are we going to assess your speaking test? Actually, there are four criteria. First of them is grammatical range and accuracy. So how accurate can you use in gra grammar and what kind of different sentences can you correctly use in English language. So the second criteria is the fluency. Fluency means how quick and how fluent can you speak in English. Then fluency and pronunciation actually are connected between them. The, uh, the way how you pronounce the words are, is also going to be assessed. Then the most important part is the vocabulary. Examiner is going to check your vocabulary and the lexical resource, so it's better to use more academic words instead of saying um, say some informal words in English. And the last thing is the body language. Body language means how you can imitate the native speaker. So when you take the eyes, try to use your body language, explain with your hands, with your show, try to show your emotions. Okay guys, now I'll talk about, let's talk about reading section. According to most uh, of the IELTS takers, this is the most challenging topic, challenging section of IELTS for them. Actually, uh, this is not true because if you practice the reading, it will be like uh, easy for you, you will name it. And let's talk about the structure of the reading test. Actually, it is a 60 minute, 60 minute test, you will have a uh, list of uh, three passages and 40 questions. You'll have to answer the questions and you, uh, you'll not have time to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. So there are 60 minutes, 
for the questions, you need to answer them. And the types of questions are different, actually. There will be true, false, not given questions, then you should have to uh, you should choose headings for the paragraph, then there will be also multiple choice questions, which are A, B, C questions, then there, are, there will be some sentences with missed places and you have to complete the missed words. Then again, you should have, uh, there will be some number of questions where you need to match the sentences. And this, actually, this is it for reading tasks. And the last section of IELTS is the writing task. Actually, there is uh, some difference between academic IELTS and general training IELTS. In academic IELTS, you will have two part writing tests. First of them, you should explain the graph or chart, and the second of them will be uh, a topic that uh, will discuss different questions, different social questions or educational questions. For example, say, um, uh, nowadays, a, the uh, level of air pollution is rising, and you should explain why and provide your um, suggestions or solutions to this problem. So, uh, this is basically the two parts of IELTS, uh, academic IELTS, but in general training IELTS, you will get a uh, task to, exp uh, to write a letter, there will be a special person, they will say, write a letter to your teacher, write a letter to your grandmother, and the second one, the second part of uh, general training IELTS, will be the same as academic test. Okay, let's talk uh, about the difficult, the difficult level. As the name infers, academic IELTS, academic uh, IELTS writing task 1 and 2 are more difficult than the general training task 1 and 2. So, uh, this is why academic test is considered to be more uh, challenging for students and non-students also. Okay, the duration of the test is 60 minutes in most cases and actually you are recommended to spend 20 minutes on first task and another 40 minutes to uh, the second task. The word limit 150 word for task 1 and 250 word for initially. Actually, this is not the limit but the recommended number of words. And this is the same for letter and writing part 2 for general training arts. And today I'm going to discuss writing task with you. And in particular, let's concentrate on writing task 1. Okay, we are given a model graph. The title of the graph is here. The chart below shows the expenditure of two countries on consumer goods in 2010. So on IELTS, there will, there will always be the title or the task you are given. So we have the chart. This chart is called bar chart. It shows the expenditure of two countries, which is the France and UK, on consumer goods. In particular, cars, computers, books, perfume, and cameras. These are the five consumer goods, and the year is 2010. On the vertical axis, there is the number, there is amount of money, which is counted in pound sterling. At the, the horizontal axis, we have consumer goods. The blue one is France. The orange one is UK. Now your task is to explain this graph by reporting the main features and compare the uh, expenditures of France and UK. And you should, uh, you should write not only details, so you shouldn't write about only small details. So try to select only the main features from the graph. Okay, now I will provide the model answer for you and let's check this out. Okay, here is the ABCs of writing the C. Actually, we usually see consists of three parts, which are the introduction, body part and conclusion. But our writing test one essay doesn't need conclusion. So we have only two parts of the essay, introduction and body part. The introduction consists of two sentences, only two, not more. Title of the graph and the most striking figure. By title, I mean the, your, your task given. And then the most striking figure, that is the figure that strikes your attention first. It can be maximum or minimum. Now, let's look at the chart. 
And here we are. This is our graph and its title is The chart below shows the expenditure of two countries on consumer goods in 2010. As I have taught you, in the introduction part, we write only two sentences. And for the first sentence, we have to concentrate on the title, because now we will paraphrase it. Uh, here is the model answer. The bar chart illustrates the amount of money on, spent on cars, computers, books, perfume, and cameras in France and the UK in 2010. And here, instead of writing only the chart as it was given in the task, I wrote the bar chart. And actually, this is the same thing. Bar chart, this is the name of the figure here. Or you can use histogram or column graph or bar graph. And instead of writing shows, I wrote illustrates. This is the more academic way of saying shows. And actually there are a number of words that can replace the word to show. And illustrate is one of them. If you want to know other more academic words, then you should contact us. Then, instead of writing the expenditure, I wrote the amount of money spent. Actually, the meaning is the same. Yeah, meaning remains the same. Uh, I just used different words and instead of writing consumer goods I just said wrote directly cars, computers, books, perfume and cameras. However, don't write for example 11 things if there are 11 goods. Since there were only five goods, five elements, I allowed myself to open this. But if you have more than this, you can just say consumer goods or change the word itself, the consumer goods. Then, uh, I leave the 2011 as it is. So this is the first sentence of the introduction part. This is a simple paraphrase of the title. Then, let's go through the second sentence of the, of the introduction. As I have told, second sentence is the, the figure that strikes your attention most. It can be the maximum of something or minimum or you can, uh, you can write about something that is stable and this is basically this thing, the element of the figure that gets your attention most. In my case, it was the amount of money spent on cars in, in both countries. Both France and UK spend the most uh, highest, the most largest amount of money on cars, and this got my attention first. Then the second thing, uh, which is also striking, is the amount of money spent on perfume. That was the least amount of money uh, spent in both France and the UK. But before giving the striking figure itself directly, make sure to write some linking phrases. In my case, I wrote overall, as it can be clearly seen from the figure, that this phrase is very important because it shows that you can generalize the figure and you can look at the figure and state and write the most um, general figure from this. And in this case, I wrote, it can be clearly seen from the figure that the UK spent more money on these goods than France in the whole period. If you look at the graph, the orange bars were higher yeah, throughout the whole period, except, uh, of course, perfume. And it means that the orange one, which is UK, spent more money then France, and it was in the period given in 2010. And this is basically it. The first sentence was the title of the, of the figure, paraphrase title. Then in the second sentence, I stated the most striking figure, which was the amount of money spent by, by UK was higher than the amount of money spent 
in France in the whole period. Okay, this was the introduction part of our writing test one, and in the following lessons we will discuss the writing paragraph and many more examples of writing test one. So thank you for watching, see you soon.